Hello, I'm Mike Getch, Product Specialist for Drives and Motor Control Centers with Werner Electric Supply. And today, we are going to talk about Automatic Device Configuration, or ADC. ADC is a feature in RS Logic's Studio 5000 version 20 and later that provides an automated download of a saved device configuration from the Logic's controller to the drive. Today we are using a 5380 Compact Logic's controller, a Stratix 5700 Ethernet switch, and two PowerFlex 525 drives, and a PanelView Plus 7. DHCP persistence lies in the Stratix 5700 Ethernet switch. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. The DHCP server automatically assigns the devices attached to the switch an IP address, subnet mask, and a default gateway. It is an option that needs to be set up in the switch to make ADC even more automated. You will see that a little extra time up front could save valuable downtime in the future. To enable DHCP port persistence, go to your web browser and type in the switch's IP address. At the top menu, highlight configure and click DHCP. Then you need to configure your DHCP pool table, then enable DHCP and DHCP snooping. Finally, we need to set up port persistence for each port we are using. Now your switch will automatically assign your drive its IP address after a power cycle. When firmware supervisor is active in the PLC, you don't have to worry about any firmware mismatches as the PLC will automatically flash the drive firmware. This is the feature available in RS Logic's software versions 18 and above. To activate firmware supervisor, put your control into program mode and then right click on the controller in your I.O. tree and click properties. In the next window, click non-volatile memory. Select the load save button, then load image on power up and enable automatic firmware update. Click store, yes to continue with the store. Enabling ADC in your PLC is a very simple procedure. First verify the drive that you want to talk to. Open the dialog box. Click on ADC. Here it says enable automatic device configuration. Either click to turn it on or to turn it off. When you are finished, click apply. Let's run through an example how ADC helps eliminate downtime. A motor shorts out and then takes out your drive. You get the motor changed and the drive, but you are not sure what parameters are in the original drive. Instead of having to call in a programmer to set up the VFD and waste valuable downtime, ADC has been set up prior so there's no guessing parameters or firmware. The PLC already knows all the parameters and the firmware that the drive is supposed to be set at. After wiring your drive, it is easy as removing the Ethernet cable from your old drive and plugging it into your new drive, and then turning on power. ADC will take care of the rest. After plugging in the Ethernet cable and turning on power to your drive, the Stratix switch will download the IP address to the drive. Next, the PLC will download the firmware of the current revision stored to your drive. Then the parameters will all be put into your drive. In under three minutes, your drive will be ready to run. If you'd like to learn more about automatic device configuration, please contact one of our specialists at Warner Electric Supply. Thank you for watching and have a great day.